I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm willing to work as hard as I can. There is no past, there's no future, there's just this moment right here. If I did that, if I can get through that, like, come at me. Changing how I saw myself, like, as a man, not just as, as an athlete. It's okay that I struggle. It's okay, that's part of the deal. It's how I respond to it. Hello and welcome to the Limitless Athletes podcast. My name is Tom Foxley, the founder of Mindset RX and your host. Today, oh actually, first of all, happy 2023, happy new year. Um, let's make this a 2023 to remember another year where you you really actually nail it, um, where you truly commit to your potential. And this week, what I'd like to do with this podcast is share with you four counterintuitive secrets to a better mindset in 2023 than you had in 2022. So let's start with the question. Are the 12 months, sorry, the next 12 months going to be more of the same? Another year with great intentions, but let's face it, mediocre results. Or is this going to be your year, one which actually counts? If you're ready to commit to a new level of level of athleticism, master your mindset and build habits which serve you in 2023, this podcast is for you. Yes, of course, you need more balance in 2023 than you had over the past 12 months. But more than that, you need to learn to like flex your mindset skills and find adaptability amongst the chaos. There are four massive mistakes that athletes make when training their mindset. Mistakes that are going to create performance crushing self uh, levels of self-doubt, of fear and frustration. Especially when you combine that with a demanding career and a family life and a backstory which all may be holding you back. Many athletes end up looking back at their time with a kind of disappointment that they didn't fully commit to their potential the opportunity to become the person they long to be, to earn the respect of others, to have made all these years of commitment valuable has passed them by. If you don't change these four things about your mindset, 2023 will be yet another wasted opportunity. One, lose your obsession with the results and replace it with what actually matters. Two, work for what can never be taken away from you. Three, Forget the obvious skills and train your character instead. And four, stress yourself intentionally. So losing your results obsession. So let's start with a story. With thousands of feet below him of just thin air and literally nothing to stop his fall, Alex Honnold intentionally unbalances his weight and kicks sideways towards the foothold that he needed to hit. With the momentum of his kick displacing his centre of gravity, if he missed that kick, he would tumble to his death on the floor of Yosemite Valley. This was the most treacherous part of his free solo climb of El Cap. No ropes, no harnesses, nothing to stop him but his fall. Uh, nothing but his skill to stop his fall. It's like a mind-blowing 2,000 foot ascent. Of course, Honnold didn't just rock up, and of course I meant that pun, and climb it on a whim. He meticulously studied the route. He practiced it for years on a rope. He spent untold time visualizing every single move. He could tell you about every foothold, every handhold, every grain of rock of the of the rock's texture along the way. He became obsessed with this process. Yes, he had the goal of free soloing El Cap. A phenomenal achievement which sent shockwaves through not just the climbing community, but the rest of the world too. Yet he put this to one side and broke it down to focusing on mastering just one move at a time. It's this kind of obsession over the process that will lead you to a far better mindset in 2023. If all you think about is your goals, you end up magnifying the gap between you and them. They become daunting and it's going to seem like you're always going to fail. And this results in a decline in confidence and self-belief and a million other mindset problems. Obsess over the incremental improvements to your technique, slight advances in nutrition, the small shifts in your mentality, though, and you'll find yourself motivated, driven, determined and ultimately successful. Your mindset in 2023 will be exceptional. 
Think only about game day, though, and the pressure is going to sink you. Seven years ago, I found that, found this out the hard way when I was invited to become a physical training instructor in the Royal Marines. My ego was stoked at the invitation, and I only looked at the end result. I stopped training with the enthusiasm, intensity, and dedication that the role actually required, and I didn't study what the course actually looked like. Inevitably, I failed the course miserably, and it knocked my confidence for years. This was all a result of placing my focus on the results, not the process. Point two, pursue meaning, not goals. Bilbo was just going about his comfortable life when the dwarves knocked on his door and invited themselves into his house. Gandalf the wizard turned up and caused even more chaos than the same night. His perfectly ordered house and life quickly became a mess. The purpose of the visit is eventually revealed. Bilbo is invited to join an adventure, the adventure of a lifetime. It's going to be challenging, dangerous, terrifying, and he probably won't come back alive. After trying to turn down the call to adventure over and over, Bilbo listens to the part of his heart which whispers, this is your calling. He joins the wizards and dwarves and embarks to steal a ring from a dragon. The whole journey sits on the precipice of disaster, but eventually Bilbo succeeds not only in a bigger goal than he could ever have imagined, but in fulfilling his potential. He became the hobbit he always dreamed of being. This adventure was not in Bilbo's plans, but it was meaningful. It lit up a part of his soul and it resonated in his heart. This was the journey for him. It didn't make sense to the outside world. It wasn't sensible, but this was what his deeper self truly decided. It was through the pursuit of meaning, not attainment, that Bilbo achieved his potential. When we pursue outcomes that we can measure, like a podium or a body weight, we often turn down our personal call to adventure. Our focus becomes so narrow that we forget why we started and lose sight of what our brains are attuned to. Meaning. Meaning is the path between chaos and order. It holds your potential and the opportunities you need to up-level. The mind pays attention to what is meaningful because it's meaning that provides you with the journey your physical and mental attributes are best suited to. Meaning is what kept our ancestors safe from predators, but it's also what Da Vinci channeled to create the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, and what led Tia Toomey to five consecutive CrossFit Game gold medals. It's meaning that tunes you into the destiny which you're made for. Stop chasing quantifiable goals because of the way it looks to others. Start pursuing what is inherently meaningful to you. One of my clients messaged me the other day, it's been like five or maybe more years since you were, were sorry, since we last worked together. When we finished our time together, she handed me in her resignation to the corporate job, which actually crushed her spirit. To do what? Kind of who knew at the time? But the message that I got last week told me she had committed her, side, her life to humanitarian work in Uganda. She traded the right goals for meaning. And guess what? She's never been happier. Three, forget the obvious skills and train your character instead. One of CrossFit's best contributions was in defining the 10 physical skills and pointing out that the fittest athlete on earth would not would train all 10 of them to the highest level. The fittest would not only have exquisite strength and endurance, but power, agility, flexibility and coordination too. This checklist gave athletes a series of athletic benchmarks to improve upon. Physically, at least, they knew what to target. This provides an athlete with an honest understanding of where they're at and also clarity on how to grow. For some unknown reason, maybe because we're uncomfortable looking at our character or for the fear of the realisation that we're not everything that we could be, we've never defined the character skills constituting mental fitness. Until now, grit, compassion, patience, assertiveness, focus, confidence, curiosity, acceptance, self-belief or self-trust, courage, emotional regulation, and wisdom. Those are the character skills you must develop to train your mindset. They're the foundation of a better mindset in 2023. Masashi, he knew death was coming, uh, was closing in for him. Seven days before he died from a suspected lung cancer, the greatest swordsman to ever live penned 21 rules a warrior should live by. His philosophy would be immortalized in this. 
The precepts barely touched on the craft of swordsmanship, the thing that Musashi was actually renowned for, but delved into the character needed to become successful. What Musashi knew is that it's character that we need to train primarily, not technique. Four, stress yourself intentionally. My breath catches in my throat. Every sinew of my body just implores me to stop. Just get out now. The self-talk is strong, but eventually, and with a lot of difficulty, I overcome it. Two or three times a week at the moment, I risk the judgment of my very conservative and proper neighbours, and dressed in nothing but my boxes, climb into a wheelie bin of ice-cold water, and next door, they just think I'm insane. This is the perfect opportunity to train my mindset, though. Not only am I conquering the narratives which tell me I'm not good enough and training all kinds of character skills, I'm training my nervous system to respond to stress in a positive way. If you're anything like the rest of the population, you spend most of your life highly caffeinated, highly stressed, under-recovered and overstimulated. The dial of your nervous system is probably cranked up to a 9 or a 10 out of 10 for most of the day. What this means is your mindset is incredibly difficult to control. The mind and the body are not separate entities with one controlling the other. The mind and the body are two aspects of the same system. If your body is out of tune, the harmonies of your mindset will be too. Thoughts are going to run away from you, berating you with negativity. Emotions will ride a roller coaster, unpredictable and helpful. Behaviors will become non-serving and you'll perform cycles of behavior which sabotage your success. If you can, if you stress your nervous system at the correct time, though, and just as importantly, allow it to recover fully, you will have more control over your mentality. You won't be at the whim of your body's craving for peace. You'll find all the presence and all the focus you would ever need. Beyond the improved regulation of your nervous system, there's value in just doing something difficult merely for the reason of doing something difficult. Voluntary changes forge a stronger mindset, or sorry, voluntary challenge forges a a stronger mindset regardless of success. In 2023, if you stress yourself intentionally and feel the dramatic shift that occurs in your mindset, 2023 can be the best year you've ever had, as long as you, one, fall in love with the process and spend less time focusing on the results, Two, pursue what is most meaningful to you, not what is most quantifiable. Three, train your character more than your physical skills. Four, train your nervous system intentionally. If you're hearing this before the end of the first week of January 2023, maybe until Monday or Tuesday, there's a very, very small chance that there'll be spaces for a brand new 12-week mindset coaching service I'm offering. It's 12 weeks to complete self-belief and confidence. It's a mindset transformation. If you're interested, head over to my Instagram. You'll probably see a recent post a couple of days ago and DM me the word interested and you'll be invited to apply. Good luck. 